Hello again. Uh, in this one, it's only going to be a really short one. It's just a quick tip to show you how to precision align your finder or your tell rad or whatever other finder that you're using. Because um, you've probably already found that if if you're imaging, especially, it can be really, really hard to find your, your object that, that you're looking for. So what we're going to do is, first of all, is start up sharp cap and swing your scope over to the moon and just focus up on the moon just just get a decent focus on the moon it, it's not hypercritical it's not like you're imaging um it's just that you'll you'll find your, your next target a lot easier if you if you're already focused up so once you've focused up on the moon lock your focuser up and swing over to a bright star or uh, you can even use jupiter if you can if you can be zoomed out with little enough magnification to make it just you know quite small um, and then what you next want to be doing is at the top in sharp cap where it says reticule and if you click reticule you'll get this reticule opening up into your preview screen which is which is centered in that preview screen so we're going to swing over to our target and for this demonstration what I'm going to do I'm just going to go into my graphics package to, to show you and illustrate what we're doing next um, because obviously I can't do this in a live situation so we'll catch you in a moment Right, as I said, I'm reproducing this now in my graphics package using layers just to demonstrate. Um, we've now got our small object on the screen, and obviously it's quite well in focus because you've already focused up on the moon previously. Now, what you want to be doing is to move your scope and make sure that you get this object in the centre of that reticule, like so. Now, once it's centred in those reticules, then without touching your score which it can be really difficult this part and it does take a little bit of practice but just move yourself over and have a look through your finder and see if that object is now centered in your finder if it's not then adjust your finder now when you've done that go back to sharp cap and look again to make sure that your object is still in that center and if it isn't then obviously move over again center it and repeat the process because in the process of sort of moving the, the adjusters on your finder scope you'll probably also just knock your scope out a little bit because uh, as you probably found out already movements are very very critical when you're imaging you only have to touch your scope and it knocks your object all over the place so you have to repeat this a couple of times just to make sure that it's in now I found also that I, I need to do this uh, at every session uh, because just in the process of like putting your telescope away and setting it back up again you can knock your, your finder out a little bit so I just do this um, every session and after you've practiced it a couple of times it comes really easily but what you'll now find is that when if you've done this that any objects that you want to find in the future you'll you'll be able to get them into that preview screen a lot easier because you know that your finder is exactly bang on with the center of your preview screen and your camera view so i hope that's just helped you out a little bit and uh, like i said it was only a short one but thanks for watching